The first will be last. The last will be first. The gospel today is known as the paradox of the first and the last. This is the gospel that follows the story of the rich young men that we heard yesterday. The gospel today is a warning against complacency. How do you say complacency in Tagalog? Kampante. It is a warning against complacency. It is also a warning against presumption. How do you say presumption in Tagalog? Palagay ang loob. The gospel is a warning against complacency and presumption. It is a reminder of how easily tables can turn. As we also say in Tagalog, bilog ang mundo. My dear brothers and sisters, Yesterday, we listened to the gospel of the great refusal, the gospel of the rich young men. Why is it called the gospel of the great refusal? Because the rich young men, after asking the Lord, What will I do in order to inherit eternal life? The Lord enumerated the commandments. The rich young men said, But I have already done all those things. What else do I need to do? What else... Do I lack? My dear friends, this is what I would like to reflect with you today very quickly and very briefly. What else do I lack? Our Lord said to the one who asked, How many can be saved? The Lord said, For men it is impossible, but not for God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. It will be difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. I'd like to make a little distinction here. The Lord said it will be difficult. He did not say it will be impossible. That is not the point of the Lord. It is possible for everybody to enter the kingdom of God. But for some people, it will be difficult and it will be easier even for a camel, a huge animal, to pass through the eye of a needle. We have a, an equivalent for this in Tagalog. We say, Para kang dumaan sa butas ng karayom. Para kang dumaan sa butas ng karayom. Ganun din ang pagpapari. Ganun din kung gusto mong maging isang SVD. Ganun din kung gusto mong maging isang misyonero. At pari balang araw, ikaw ay dadaan sa butas ng karayom. It will not be easy. It is not impossible, it is possible, but it will be difficult. That is what the gospel today wants to tell us, my dear brothers and sisters. Let me go back to the rich young man a little bit. Ah, oh, probably after the rich young man, Peter, the leader of the twelve, the perennial optimist, he says to Jesus, Lord, what about us? We have left everything and we followed you. Ano ang makukuha namin kung kami ay susunod sa iyo? What can we get out of this? If I become a disciple, what will I get out of this? You know, this kind of question is a very transactional question. If I do this to you, do this to me transactional what will i get if i do it this way what will you get if you do it that way we have left everything we have followed you example matthew was a tax collector he was earning a lot of money luke was a physician 
He had many patients. Paul was highly educated. He was multilingual. What can we get in return, Lord, if we follow you? Let's apply this to the seminarians who are here. Some of you are already professionals. Some of you have already acquired a college degree. Why did you leave your job? Why did you leave your profession? Who, taught, who told you to come to Christ the King? Why did you decide to enter the seminary? Why did you decide to enter the SVD? These are questions that are not easy to answer. Apply this to yourselves. What about us? What can we get out of following the Lord? What can you get out of attending the online mass every day? What can you get? What about us? We have already left everything, a family, a relatively comfortable life, good income and salary, a bright future and promotion, a promising career. You could have been this, you could have been that, you could have been a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, an architect, a dentist, a teacher, a pharmacist, a businesswoman, a journalist. What can you get? Out of this and Jesus practically tells Peter and the rest you will be rewarded you will be rewarded everyone who leaves family and goods for the sake of Jesus will be rewarded many times over with father and mother and brothers and sisters in other words the world in the world of Jesus he who gives gets and how about the rich young man the story goes that he left away forlorn very sad because he had many possessions my dear seminarians my dear brothers and sisters I remember the Jesuit father John Hardon who says something beautiful about the gospel today and he relates it to what we call now attachments attachments let me say a few words before i end let me say a few words about attachments what does father jesuit the jesuit father john hardon says about attachments it is emotional dependence either of one person on another or of a person on some real or illusory object the first condition for progress in sanctity is to master your attachments attachments are difficult for us to recognize or to admit we can become adept at rationalization and transferring the responsibility for our situation on something else or on somebody else let us continue to examine ourselves selfish clinging position is in a spiritual fog hindering our supernatural vision it then becomes difficult to discern between what is legitimate desire and what is inordinate attachment in another event in the gospel the lord says blessed are the pure of heart for they will see god amen